Hey guys, welcome to Adam Does Real Estate. We have Bernard Nubra. Morning here, everybody. Here with us and today he's going to be doing a presentation here in class on why you want to work with builders, some tips and some things to watch out for. So I'm going to go ahead and let him get started. And if you guys got any questions or need help getting your approval for your builder and some of the exclusive programs that Bernard has is I think you got a program where you can basically lock in a rate and buy in at a later time, right? Yes, sir. We can lock up to for up to 360 days for all your conventional uh, conforming VA and FHA loans. Yeah, so I'm going to so I'm going to include his information down below if you guys got any questions, and we'll let him go ahead and get started. Go ahead and do yourself. Good morning, everybody. My name is Bernard from Homebridge. Uh, in Pleasanton office. I'm actually one of the builder sales managers um, for the uh, so so the builder team uh, here in the Bay Area. Um, I actually support one of the largest builders here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, a lot of you have probably been into the communities before, um, and I support them as their primary lender. Um, what I mean by primary lender is I sit on site on the communities uh, on the weekends and pre-qualify every buyer who is looking to make a prospective offer with that builder. Um, part of the reason I wanted to come in today was to talk to you guys a little bit about the benefits of new construction because I see it every day where we get agents who bring buyers in for one reason or another. The buyer wants to, they're flopping back and forth between resale and new construction. Um, but what I think a lot of agents don't catch is the benefits of new construction. Um, so some of those benefits I wanted to roll into are the paperwork. You guys don't, the buyer's agents don't do anything. Half the time you come in, you sign a form, you can walk through with your clients if you want to, but 90% of the time you're on your way. Um, assisting with financing, that's where I would come into play with, with my particular builder. Me or one of my, my teammates would come in, sit with the borrower um, and, and issue a pre-approval for them to purchase that home. The special thing about my relationship with my builder is that my builder does not require us to solely focus or to solely work on their new, new construction projects. So if your buyer approves with me, they're not only approved for every one of their communities, but they're also approved to go do whatever they want to do as well. As much as I would love to see them come back and purchase one of my new, new homes, but the buyer does have a valid pre-approval. Um, providing property data, again, if you look at where you're spending most of your time with your buyers, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're going out, you're showing 40 homes, you're writing 50 offers to be told no 50 times. The, buy, the builder's agents do all this for you. Literally, you walk in, sign your client in, walk them through the models if you want, and then you're on your way. Um, explaining forms and agreements. That's something you can go over the sales contract with the borrower if you want to. But again, not needed. The builder has their own product, their own forms that they use to go over everything with that borrower. So it's not a standard car form that's being used for new construction. Um, as far as the property data, the builder sales agent, again, is going to provide most of that. Some of the important questions I always ask in new communities is what's your tax rate, your Melarus. Um, schools are obviously a big one to look at depending on where you're looking at and what you're wanting to do just for more client community information. Um, as far as getting paid the, bid bu the big bucks and negotiating upgrades, getting paid the big, the big bucks is the million dollar question. Um, obviously every builder is gonna have a different uh, commission or referral fee that they're going to pay to the agents for, for bringing in the borrower, so that's obviously a big question. Um, but I would also encourage all, a lot of you guys as agents to remember to do what's right for your clients, um, which is hard to say, I understand, or which is hard to understand for a lot of people when we're dealing with income. Um, negotiations on upgrades. This is something I see builders bounce back and forth with. Because remember, right now, they're not desperate to sell homes. They're selling homes faster than they can keep up with the demand of homes. So they're, they're not offering any incentive to use preferred lenders. They're not offering any upgrades. And if they are, it's very minimal. Um, but again, 
remember when your borrowers when when your clients come in and they do upgrades they're also increasing their tax bills so just give your client the heads up you know do do the things you have to have not the stuff you want as a uh, as, as a luxury i like to say so bernard i have a question so if i'm working with the with the buyer uh, and i know they're 90 percent convinced on resale property should i go take them into the new construction properties regardless definitely why would I want to do that? Because you really won't want to do that to protect yourself. Because what if your borrower walks into that property and you're not there? And, and, and do we it, sell them a house. Mm. And do some type besides protecting yourself, do some uh, buyers just don't even, uh, some buyers don't even entertain the option of maybe new construction? It's uh, because they don't know it's available, right? So have you seen where somebody does walk in with just to sign up their, their buyer and the buyer actually loves the community and wants mm -hmm. to buy that? All the community, time. not resale. All the time. Um, I think it's. I think once once you 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 show a buyer what their options are, they'll make the decision of what they want to do. Um, and I think a lot of a lot of clients don't know their real estate agent can help out with new construction homes. And so with new construction on there, like what does a buyer get that they don't get in a resale? Is there a special warranty? Any of that? So my favorite thing about new construction is I like to compare it to buying a pair of shoes. You walk in the community, you walk through the models you like, you find the one you like, then you find the location of the home, <clears throat> you write it, you make an offer, you write a check, and the home comes off the market instantly. There's no back and forth with the seller. There's no fifty multiple. There's no multiple offers. There's no there. It really is a simplified process to buying a home. Okay. Uh, and then, as far as the, is there a special warranty that standard comes on? So the builder, the builders do offer new construction warranties. Each builder is different. Um, I've seen a lot of them offer the, I think it's a ten-year warranty on, um, on plumbing and whatnot. Um, and then I think it's a one-year fit and finish warranty. So like if anything, you know, if your cabinets break or something like that, they'll come back and fix that. But if any of your plumbing or your roofing goes bad, then there there's specific warranty on that. You want to check with the builder for each builder specific warranty plan. That you offer. said fit and finish. Fit and finish. Uh -huh. So it'd be like um, if uh, if one of my cabinets fell off. Okay. The new one. Then the builder would come out and 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 replace it. Thank you. And if you're not make, able to actually walk your buyer in, do some communities allow you to go ahead and sign your buyer in and then uh, and email them for confirmation? Have you seen that happen before? I see it happen. Typically what happens is the agent will call and make an appointment. And then at that point, we'll schedule them. You know, We'll go ahead and schedule the, the appointment for them to come in. At some point, the agent does have to come in and sign the, sign, sign the book and all that good stuff. Okay, got it. And then can, if uh, somebody walks into a new construction site, can they use their existing lender if they prefer to? So the, the, the way it works with, with a lot of the builders is that you have to pre-qualify with their preferred lender. You can use your lender if you want to. However, there is always perks to using the preferred lender. Um, and I say those perks because I come up against this every day. Um, and where I see a lot of lenders fail is the end of the transaction where you've got to do your final inspection, your certificate of owner occupancy, um, and closing timelines. Because remember in that contract, the contract is saying the home is to be delivered within this day, which is oftentimes 12 months out. So, the, so remember the builder only has to give the borrower 30 days notice that the home is going to be delivered. So they can call you in three months and say, hey, guess what? You're closing next month. The preferred lender is always going to be able to ship the pipeline to be able to close on time. Do you do uh, appraisals on them? We do. Um, so typically with, the new, with new homes, that was a great, great question, by the way. Um, so with new homes, when your clients are signing contracts, they are not agreeing to buy the home based on the appraised value of the home. So meaning... Your client goes in and they 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 go and contract for a home at eight hundred thousand dollars and it appraises at seven eighty. Your client will come in with the difference. 
there are certain situations where the builder can or might consider a renegotiation, but let's say $20,000 were, were in upgrades, typically the builder would not re, 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 renegotiate for that. They would make the client come in with the difference because there's no appraisal contingency. <coughs> there's no, uh, the only thing there is is a loan contingency typically in these contracts. Hmm. So I, I have a follow-up question, but most of the times the properties are appraising for the purchase price. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The only time that I've seen them where, where we've had trouble appraising is when you've had clients come in and spend a ton of money in upgrades. Um, and most of the time what will happen is the builder's design center will tell them you're going a little too, you, you know, you're, you're spending a lot of appraisal could be an issue. I have a really good question on here. And hey guys, you guys are welcome to chime in by the way. Uh, and so can you please explain to us what phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four are? And normally, if there's any tips like on how to save money, is it better? Is it cheaper at phase one versus phase four? So I would say, so phases, phase one, two, three, four, are just examples of when the builder is releasing more homes. Typically, you want to get in, I say if you can get in before the first phase, which is pre-sale, that's a great time to get in. Um, and what, from what I'm seeing, the builder's testing the waters on their pricing um, in terms of the, the initial offers. Um, if you get in phase one or two, still decent pricing, uh, but I've seen where we've had, you know, depending on how the homes are selling, is how the, sell, the builder is going to adjust for their price increases going forward. Okay, got it, got it. And then as far as, uh, can you really get a, a, a good deal by buying uh, builders what is that, a model home? <clears throat> so model homes are, are, are great because oftentimes they're fully loaded. Um, and when I say fully loaded, I mean they've got options in them that are, it's, it's spec to the nines. Um, and I think they are good deals to be had, but the one thing that I would encourage a lot of people to remember when looking at these model homes is that you want to look at how long the model home has been, how long the community's been there. <clears throat> So if you've got a home that's been there, let's say, for two years, remember, that home has been open 360 days of the year for people to be running through, walking through, mm -hmm. opening the cabinets, flushing the toilets, mm -hmm. walking across the carpet. Um, you know, so I would say, you know, everything is a deal depending on what you're looking for. You know, if you want the home that you are, you're going to move into and you don't have to do anything else to it, then a model home could be the way to go. Uh, but if you're looking, you could always build a model home with something that the builder <laughs> has it in. Does anybody have another question? Example, if you have two, two people, two buyers coming in, mm -hmm. one is 20% uh, down conventional, the other one is FHA, in the same house. Which one are you going to make, a, who are you going to pay more attention to? So, so... Referencing me specifically? No, the your the Builder? company, the company, yeah. The Whoever builder. gives me a check first. Really? Mm -hmm. Because oh. once once I once we pre qualify someone for a house, mm -hmm. and once they're right, once they've sat down and started to write the offer, okay, the house comes off the market. Good check, good check, good answer. So, mm -hmm. guys, what Bill, what Bernard is basically <clears throat> trying to say is you could save that multiple offer situation of having to show. Uh, countless homes and writing countless offers, you could walk them into a builder and sign them up. And if they're looking in Vacaville, take them to all five builders in the area, and your buyer would be really impressed that you're giving them the option because they never even thought about it. A lot of the spouses uh, like the newer construction because everything is in the wrapper, they say, right? It's brand new, and they love that feeling, and uh, they like the idea too that it comes with the 10-year warranty some builders give you that mm -hmm. on here so it really is a good way of just beating out the market and, and, and getting mm -hmm. your buyer in contract and so uh, the, the most important thing is like knowing where to find them can you let these guys know where to find new construction homes yeah um, there's there's a few websites that, that have them I could forward you to you the link to, to, to the builder that I particularly work with as well um, with my particular builder, my we have three preferred lenders that work with us. If you approve with anyone on my team, you can use that at any one of the communities as well. So I'd be more than happy to send that over to you. Cool. Well, thank you, Bernard. I'm going to have thank Bernard's you. information down below on here. <laughs> and uh, please let him know if you have any questions. Bernard, do you want to say anything? Thank you.